любой браконьер, который попадается, он говорит всегда одно и то же, по сути дела. Аргументы для наказания браконьера, преступника. Tigerland is a film about the beauty and the majesty of tigers, told from a human point of view. I decided instead of doing a typical sort of nature film, we could do something that sort of is more lyrical and has a more fantastical feel, interweaving the cult of the tiger throughout the film and our love and our desire to have the power of the tiger, but also how we just destroy the tiger. So it's a little different than most nature films. We follow one conservationist in Russia and we follow a family whose great-grandfather was one of the leading conservationists in India. We filmed some verite and filmed some historical kind of footage. Generally speaking, with nature films, you kind of have all the time in the world to sit and wait and, you know, perfect lighting, perfect conditions. With verite, you need to be light, you need to be fast, you need to be mobile. And so we needed something that we could accomplish both with one camera set. And so I think going with the C300 Mark II for us was the best way to accomplish that. You can shoot 4K, you can shoot slow motion, the color on it is fantastic, the lenses that you pair with it are great, and you know, the low light was amazing. I mean, when we were in Russia, we didn't have a lot of daylight, days were short, and so we were able to push our shooting days longer. I would say most of the shoots, we had three bodies with us. Um, one for me to shoot on, one for Ross. In India, we had the third uh, with the 50 to 1,000 dedicated for, for tiger footage. We were shooting in some extreme conditions. We were shooting in minus 20 below in Russia. I think it was about 100 degrees in India. We needed something that could stand up to those temperatures. We were shooting with all of these cameras and lenses exposed to the environment the entire time and didn't have a single issue. We had a full set of Canon K35 lenses, Canon 155 to 47, a 30 to 105. One of the reasons we chose the 50 to 1000 is because it's really fun. <laughs> we had a great time using it. The focal range of 50 to 1000 was ideal. We also wanted a lens that could fit into the stylistic look of everything else that we were shooting with. For any of our shooting environments that were outside during the day that had a lot of exposure shifts, we would shoot in log two. That would give us a lot more dynamic range to work with in the color grade, and it also just tends to give a richer, deeper image. We didn't have the luxury of saying, well, let's bring something that can shoot the highest resolution for one type of shot, and then let's bring a specialty camera for another kind of shot. We just need one camera that can do it all. 